Happy Friday traders! After a day off the screens due to the real demands of the 9 to 5, your girl is back in the seat and ready to trade like a pro. Here I am back on this challenge. You can see where I played around to the left of the chart, but finally I do see a new continuation trade setting up. We have the pivot high. We have a smooth pullback into the goal line. I'm patiently waiting for the entry here. Actually, I almost missed the entry. <laughs> I turned around to do something else and just that quick, I almost missed the entry. But I still think I end up with the with the perfect entry. The price comes down again to the tick a tick above that signal bar. So I I think I still do have a flawless entry. So actually, it looks like this trade did not take any heat. We did play around for a little while. Price going back and forth. But there it is. A classic trade flawless entry and the standard 20 ticks is achieved. So I'm back in the game with the $200 win and that puts my balance at $200. Hi again traders. In this segment we'll take a look at a trade I did in another one of my evaluations. So here we have a continuation trade that I did on the ES chart. This trade was a little bit suspect. I still think it was a continuation trade, but as you can see, it really did pull well back below the goal line there. And it took a few bars to come back and break the candle. Also, you'll notice that I didn't even have my 21 simple moving average on the chart, so I didn't have a red line there. And what concerned me was the distance of, and the space from that price had from the goal line. So I really felt that there wasn't that much support for the trade. I did take it anyway, and I guess we can see what happens. I'm definitely interested and your opinions about the trade if you think the trade was invalidated because it went so far below the gold line definitely let me know what what you all think about that so I'll just tell you this trade was very long I think it was at least 11 minutes so I did speed it up but while it's playing out I do want to just talk about something here as you all know, I do have several evaluations right now, and a lot of those evaluations are not looking so good, so I do feel like I'm due for a refresh in some of the evaluations, and I see Apex does have another good sale going on. So I think I'm going to definitely pick up some more accounts, probably cancel some of the other accounts, especially the accounts that have the 50% lifetime 
renewal fee as opposed to the 80%. This new sale, I believe, is 80% for life. So I probably will pick up some of those accounts and get rid of some of the 50% accounts. So I think I'm justified in picking up some new accounts. I definitely feel like I've grown mentally as well as with my trading skills. So definitely my education is continuing and I think the new accounts will be put to good use. So let me know if you all plan on getting new accounts. If you do, I do have a coupon code that's listed in the description. So um, if you'd like, you could definitely use that code. But let's see what's going on with this trade. As you can see, the trade comes all the way back down and it does go closer to that goal line, which is what I thought it would probably do. I thought it would want to come back to the five minute goal line. But I still stayed in the trade. I really wanted to exhibit those pro skills and just stick with the trade. And I definitely want to do that more with the new accounts that I get. I want to let the probabilities play out, set the trade and forget it, let the ATM do its work. All right, so there we are. We did finally get the 20 ticks, which is five points on the ES.